Hello my friends of Pottery Water, this time we are going to do a quick tutorial about how to fill missing precipitation data with neural networks. In this time we are going to use the Jupyter Notebook. This is a interface for deploying Python. And we have done this. We have a precipitation data uh, as the green as the green line and we have the predicted precipitation data as the um, blue line. So what we have done, we have implemented a neural network over our data. So in this time we are going to show you how we have done it. The links to this video are will, will be on the, on the video description and, and all as well as all the related data. So I restart and clear out. Mm -hmm. Well, at the beginning, we have opened like three stations, station one, station two, station three, and, and we have opened it as a panda. So we have used pa uh, pa the pandas package and the NumPy package. So we, we use it as a pandas. Why we have done it as a pandas? I will run this cell. It's because pandas uh, is very handy when you have to deal with um, dates. So um, it's just it's just an it's just an, it's just to to open the here I'm going to open the the Excel files. And panda recognize that this is a date and actually uh, put it on the um, as a date object or something as a date index and this is the precipitation okay so here we have the we have already imported this and here we have the first station this is the first station and all uh, our analysis will be from the 1st of November from 2014 to the 31 of March of 2015 okay this is for station 2 uh -huh. and here is where we will see the missing data if you see here we we have missing data from the let's say the 15th of, of November to the 12th of January something like that so we are going to fill this okay and here we have the station 3 and on the station 3 if you see there is some problem here there is some problem and I that's why I have open another uh, like a raw file of this data in order to fix it because on December like it's like a, there is a common addition or like an error so with these lines of code I import the missing data okay cool and then I import this data and I um, I fill it here and then and now I have a more current current uh, precipitation data okay so we have three data frames for three three stations we create one why we create the one because uh, it's more handy to, to use it as a one so we have we will have all the stations as a one panda data frame I run it I'm running on my keyboard but you can run it with as shift plus return but I can run it as well as here here I have already one pandas data frame where I have here my dates and here I have the stations and I can plot all my stations with this line and with the same with the with the same index so here is beautiful November December and here is where we are going to fill the missing data okay so and this is the construction of neural networks we we have the input layer this is the campus initius the input layer campus alpha is the output layer the number of neurons the learning rate and the number of iterations so and uh, this will this define the neural the network network and this fun this part predicts the neural network so i run it mm -hmm. And then we see if 
our predicted values are close to the observed values. Let's see. It's running, that's why this dot is fully black. Okay. Um, this is done, these precipitation stations were close to one to each other, that's why they are very coherent or like they have the same peaks and so if you want like you want to related precipitation stations that are farther one from each other you might use a pi wavelet like it's a wavelet transform is close to the Fourier transform in order like to have a better like the neural network will will understand better the the signals because uh, precipitation is as well a signal okay so signal mm. I never thought that precipitation could be a signal but it's a signal in the end okay so this is our prediction so as, as you have seen the on the um, green line the is our observed data on the blue line is our predicted data the fit is quite good and I could recommend this when you don't have any options to to fill it okay so and then this is what what we have done here is to see if for our observed data of station 2 we can predict it and then we are going to fill it okay so we we create a new column that is station 2 with the, with the completed data and then we fill it and then this was our station 2 with the missing data and now this is the station 2 with the complete data. I hope that this tutorial will be helpful for you. All the codes as, as I have said are on the, the on the video description and I hope that the, the I really hope that you share the same passion of water resources and software as we do. Uh, if you have some for any questions like if you might need something that we might have help you. Like say I will post this is my email. You can write me and then we, we can see what we can do we can do to we can we can see what we can do to to help you. Please follow us by our Facebook is Hatari Water, our Twitter is Hatari Water Please follow this YouTube channel and I hope we can see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.